Hello and welcome to the KDF Friday Bulletin. I am Sergeant Kasim Ali. The Bulletin is a show to keep you updated on events undertaken by the Ministry of Defence over the week. In our highlights tonight, the Chief of the Defence Forces hosts the Japanese Ambassador to Kenya at the Defence Headquarters. Major General Fatuma Ahmed presides over the graduation ceremony of the Tufuzo Youth Entrepreneurship Program. Gidunguri Level 5 Hospital Construction Underway in Kiambu County. Defense Recruits Training School and International Peace Support Training Center conduct tree planting exercises. The University of Nairobi Hydrographic Survey students visit the Kenya Navy. To start us off, his Excellency Dr. William Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, accompanied by Dr. Patrick Mariru, the Principal Secretary for Defense, conducted an inspection tour of the ongoing construction at the proposed Atlanta Sports City Stadium. The visit was aimed at assessing the progress of the facility construction, which is expected to host a section of matches during the African Cup of Nations in 2027. The construction follows a cabinet directive which tasks the Ministry of Defence to oversee and supervise the project in collaboration with the Ministry of Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports. Kenya, alongside Tanzania and Uganda, won the Pamoja East Africa bid to host the continental tournament. General Charles Kahariri, the Chief of the Defence Forces, hosted Japanese Ambassador to Kenya, His Excellency Okaniwa Ken, at the Defence Headquarters here in Nairobi. The Chief of Defence Forces noted that the two countries shared bilateral relations dating back to the 1960s and thanked the government of Japan for the continued support in peace support training at the International Peace Support Training Centre in Karen, Nairobi. Through the Japan International Cooperation Agency, Kenya has registered developmental projects such as the construction of the Dongokundu Special Economic Zone, the expansion of Mo International Airport, Mombasa Port Container Terminal, as well as the construction of bridges in Nyali, Mtwapa and Kilifi. On his part, Ambassador Ken underscored the value of Kenya-Japan relations, indicating that he looks forward to strengthening the established defense relations. Some of the areas considered for possible collaboration include maritime security, information sharing, joint military training, and disaster response. Mr. Twalib Mbarak, the Secretary and Chief Executive Officer of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, paid a courtesy call to General Charles Kahariri, the Chief of the Defense Forces, at the Defense Headquarters here in Nairobi. During the meeting, the two leaders discuss how Kenya Defense Forces inculcate anti-corruption measures and sustain a culture of ethical standards. They acknowledge that these are critical values to ensure the military remains accountable and professional in the fulfillment of the Kenya Defense Forces mandate to build an existing ethics and anti-corruption measures. Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission was invited to work closely with Kenya Defence Forces, especially to curb recruitment malpractices. Moving on, Dr. Patrick Mariru, the Principal Secretary of Defence, alongside Mr. Harry Kimtai, the Principal Secretary of the State Department for Medical Services at the Ministry of Health, conducted a site visit and inspection of the proposed Gidunguri Level 5 Hospital in Kiambu County. The construction of Gidunguri Level 5 Hospital aims to significantly improve access to medical services for the local and surrounding communities. These collaborative efforts of the Ministry of Defence and the Ministry of Health demonstrate their shared commitment to improving healthcare infrastructure. Take a look. Speaking during the visit, Dr. Mariru reaffirmed the Ministry of Defence commitment to ensuring the quality and timely completion of the project in readiness to serve the community. Subsequently, Honorable Gadoni Wamshomba expressed her gratitude to both ministries for their unwavering support and dedication to the hospital's construction. She pledged her continued support to the project, vowing to collaborate closely with the ministries to see it through to completion. The project seeks to boost the local economy, marking a significant milestone in the region's development.
Major General Fatuma Ahmed, Commander Kenya Air Force, presided over the graduation ceremony of the Tufuzu Youth Development Entrepreneurship Program at Moi Air Base in Nairobi. This is the second cohort sponsored by the Military Wives Association of Kenya and the Family Bank Foundation. It attracted 48 students from various Kenya Defense Forces families with an interest in acquiring plumbing and electrical skills. Major General Ahmed commended the graduates for their significant milestone and dedication throughout the training. That knowledge will enable you to contribute your skills or contribute meaningfully uh, to your own social economic grounding. She also expressed her appreciation to the Military Wives Association Kenya and the Family Bank Foundation for their partnership in making a social economic impact for the children contributing to the nation's development. Similarly, the Military Wives Association Kenya chair lady, Madam Grace Kahariri, congratulated the students for their efforts during the three months of training. The three month industrial attachment will equip you with confidence and practical experience required to penetrate the job market in the vibrant construction industry. The graduates were awarded certificates accredited by the National Industrial Training Authority and the National Construction Authority of Kenya. The first cohort of Kenya Defense Forces dependents graduated in June last year, bringing the total beneficiaries of the initiative to 98. Major General Paul Owor Otieno, the Commander Kenya Navy, presided over this year's Commander's Divisions at the Kenya Navy Base in Tongwe. The Commander's Divisions Parade is held biannually with naval bases and formations. It enables the sailors to channel their request and general welfare through their divisional command and also offers the commanders an opportunity to interact with the sailors. Following the divisions, the Commander Kenya Navy conducted a baraza at the Kenya Navy Sailors Club, gathering Kenya Navy officers and service members for a comprehensive discussion. In his address, he expressed satisfaction with ongoing projects within the Kenya Navy and underscored his commitment to enhancing sailor morale and welfare. Major General Otieno emphasized the values of discipline and commitment, highlighting their critical role in their future success. He expressed confidence that with their dedication, they will thrive and contribute meaningfully to the Kenya Navy's mission. Lieutenant General Jimson Mutai, the National Defense University Kenya Vice Chancellor, accompanied by the leadership of the university and the constituent colleges, presided over the second matriculation ceremony of the Kenya Military Academy Cadets Intake 13 of 2027 in Lanet, Nakuru County. The matriculating class has undergone a nine month of foundational military training and now will embark on the academic and professional phase. Upon successful completion of the three-year program, the matriculants shall graduate with a Bachelor of Science degree in Defense and Security Studies. In his address to the congregants, the Vice Chancellor lauded the matriculants for the successful completion of the first phase of their training and implored them to work hard in their studies while observing a high sense of discipline as potential future military leaders. And the UK shall remain a platform for the military and partnering, partnering stakeholders to analyze and provide solutions to internal, regional and global security challenges and evaluate their strategic implications on Kenya's national interest. On the same platform, Major General Muthuri Kyogo, the commandant at the Kenya Military Academy, urged the cadets to maintain discipline throughout their academic journey, emphasizing that the university's curriculum was designed to prepare them for national defense and professional discharge of constitutional duties. The Kenya Military Academy is upbeat and motivated to ensure that the training objectives in professional, academic, and character development pillars are achieved. Kenya Military Academy is a constituent college of NDU Kenya and is mandated to train officer cadets of Kenya Defense Forces and militaries of allied countries. It is also a premier institution for basic foundational military officer training and intellectual development. <laughs> 
Kenya Defence Forces personnel from the Defence Forces Recruits Training School and the International Peace Support Training Centre conducted a tree planting exercise at Twiga Range Reserve Forest in Eldoret and at the Humanitarian Peace Support School in Nairobi respectively. During the exercises, over 105,000 seedlings of various exotic species were planted including cypress, eucalyptus and whistling pine trees. Speaking during the exercise at the Recruits Training School, Brigadier John Kipia commended the continued collective efforts towards conserving the environment by Kenya Defence Forces and other stakeholders. In the same breath, Brigadier Joyce CTNA, the Director of the International Peace Support Training Centre, noted that the centre is committed to achieving the 30% forest cover target set by the government through the revamped Environmental Soldier Programme. The college has initiated a tree nursery with 4,000 seedlings currently. The tree planting exercises are in line with the Commander-in-Chief's National Tree Restoration Program, aimed at mitigating the devastating effects of the climate change by planting 15 billion trees by 2032. Seven Kenya Rifles troops, alongside Connecticut General Life Insurance Company, augmented learning at Langata Garrison Primary School, an initiative spearheaded by Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Musau, the commanding officer of the battalion. During the event, the organization donated assorted items which included textbooks, whiteboard, exercise books, rim papers, sanitary towels, cooking oil and foodstuffs, among others. On behalf of the commanding officer, Major Dennis Gitene thanked the organization for their unwavering support, supplementing the Ministry of Defense and the Ministry of Education efforts in facilitating smooth learning in military schools in a bid to set a strong foundation for the learners. Students from the University of Nairobi School of Engineering pursuing hydrographic survey conducted an educational tour to Kenya Navy Base Mtongwe in Mombasa County. The visit familiarized the students with practical aspects of hydrographic survey and nautical charts used for navigation at sea. During their visits, the students to one the Kenya Navy Training College where they received a comprehensive lecture on how hydrography and bathmetry is carried out by the Hydro Survey Department of the Kenya Navy and the role of hydrographic surveys in naval operations. The students also toured the Kenya Navy Fleet and Borden Research Vessel Mtafiti. This segment of the visit focused on the ship's functions and operations, providing practical insight into hydrographic surveying and in-depth understanding of the ship's capabilities. This visit continues to foster Kenya Navy's commitment to partnering with local universities to provide professional and technical training, ensuring the highest standards of navigational readiness at sea. And that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. We look forward to your feedback via our official social media handles and your viewership next Friday for the KDF Friday Bulletin. I am Sergeant Kasim Ali. Goodbye and be blessed.